But talking of speed limits, the next person I want to introduce rides so fast that he prefers runways to open roads. Well, welcome to, to Western Airfield here in Northamptonshire. Now you're about to meet one of the baddest, maddest, craziest motorcyclists I've ever met. Seth, now look, right. This is as crazy as I remember it. His name is Zef Eisenberg, and this is his bike. Now look, tell me, right, is it a rocket bike, a turbine bike, a jet, I mean, what is it? This engine comes from the Augusta 109 helicopter. We put one of those turbines in this bike. 420 horsepower <laughs> out of the box from Rolls-Royce. We've taken it to 560 horsepower to the rear wheel. Sorry, I've just got to laugh. That is pure madness. <laughs> As you might have guessed, Zeph is no ordinary motorcyclist. He's the twisted genius behind the Mad Max race team. Like Andy Slade, I first met him up at Elvington Airfield in Yorkshire a few years back during Speed Week. With one gear, you go from zero to 250 miles an hour. It's, there's that much torque. It makes the most crazy amount of torque you've ever felt. What I can do is I can stall the rear wheel, turn up the power via something called the compressor speed, which is called the N1 speed. Wow, man, I'm, I'm, yeah, go on. Pilots will know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I'm not a pilot. And when I'm ready, I just release the brakes and it's literally kapoo, catapult. Unsurprisingly, Zef currently holds the world record for the fastest turbine-powered bike. How did it all come about, this vision? I felt like I needed something more. I've always played with V8 engine cars and big two-stroke bikes and stuff, and I thought, we need something more, something more powerful. What's the silliest, craziest idea I can think of? I know. <laughs> You've come up Trump, son. <laughs> Turbine in a motorbike. What we see here is the creation of vast amounts of effort and pain and, and crashes. And talking of crashes, two and a half years ago at Elvington, Zeph's luck almost ran out. The problem was, going down the runway, you're going so fast that your peripheral vision goes like this to a sniper rifle. Literally, you're seeing like this. You can't see it at all. Your head is vibrating. I've got no fairing around the bike. Massive wind force. 80 kilograms of wind resistance on your head at those speeds. And I didn't see the checkered finish boards. But the problem is we're doing 400 feet a second. So suddenly, we've done another 1,200 feet, and I see the grass ahead of me, and I go, oh, Zef hit the grass at around 220 miles an hour, flew off his bike, and landed in a field full of cows and bushes. He was airlifted to Leeds General Infirmary, but few at the scene thought he'd survive. So I came around about three days later after being on lots of ketamine and morphine and fun like that, covered in titanium and carbon fibre scaffolding. I'd broken 11 bones in my body, I'd shattered my ankle, I'd broke both pelvis blades, I'd fractured and broken my pubic bone, I had snapped my hip, broken my femur, ripped my rotator cuff off my shoulder, damaged my collarbone, broke three bands in this hand, two hand bones in this hand, and a dent in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I've got to tell you, right, um, about a year ago, OK, I was at an event and I'm standing there and then this bloke comes up like this, right? <laughs> oh, Henry, it's Seth. Mate, what happened to you? Well, now you know what happened to him. <laughs> now, for some people, this might have put an end to their love affair with speed, but not so Zef Eisenberg. In 2017, he returned to Elvington for a modest 200 miles an hour training run and to meet some of the paramedics who saved his life. Today, for the first time since his crash, he's going to ride his jet bike, equipped with its full racing turbine. It's quite unbelievable. You wouldn't expect 
a noise like that to come from a motorcycle, but it does. It's just like, well, a jet plane kind of taxiing ready to take off. Look at it, man. Just look at that thing. At full chat, this bike can reach speeds of up to 234 miles an hour. Today, he's keeping it down for the crew's sake. But Elvington, beware. This September, Zeph's coming back, determined to smash his previous record, but this time, keeping body and bike intact. Do you think, though, the accident changed you and your view on life? In a weirdest kind of way, the accident was the best thing that ever happened to me because it made me appreciate how special life is and how we've got to live it every day, 100%.